Hello, good evening to you. Trade unions and poverty groups should put pressure on the Scottish Government to reverse its ban on fracking. That's according to the SNP's former deputy leader. Jim Sullers also believes Nicola Sturgeon should stand aside as SNP leader as soon as someone better comes along. The Scottish Government says there's neither the evidence nor the public backing to support fracking. Graham Stewart reports. The fracking of oil and gas is already big business in the United States. They drill down into shale rock and break it apart with a high-pressure jet of water. A controversial technique which Scottish ministers have now banned indefinitely. But the SNP's former deputy leader is calling for a rethink. Scottish public didn't really know that there was a major consultation going on, which allowed the Green movement to ramp up the sort of 99% against fracking. Trade unionists should wake up. You should be getting resolutions at the Scottish TUC and demanding a rethink. Poverty groups in Scotland should be demanding a rethink by this government. The Scottish government says there's neither the evidence nor the public backing to support fracking in Scotland. One of the SNP's parliamentarians says the ban is the right move for the environment. We need to move away from fossil fuels in general uh, as time moves on. You know, the, in the programme for government, the, uh, the First Minister mentioned about electric cars uh, coming into Scotland eventually, and I know that industry is moving towards that. And it's how we generate electricity in the future and power in the future that's the most important thing. And I believe that renewables are the way forward, and in particular for Scotland, renewables are a way that we can be a world leader. Good afternoon. For Jim Sillers, the fracking debate is but one example of what he sees as the First Minister's weak leadership. He branded Nicola Sturgeon's original timetable on the second independence referendum a monumental political misjudgment. And he'd rather see someone else lead the party. If there was someone better around uh, who had the intellectual capability to understand that you've got to analyse things first before you take a decision, yes, I think she should step aside but there's no one there at the moment. So we've got Nicola, and I hope Nicola improves. Judging by the reaction to her conference speech last week, Nicola Sturgeon has the overwhelming support of party members, and the SNP points to its continued lead in the polls. Graham Stewart, reporting Scotland. A 64-year-old woman has died in a house fire in Glasgow, which happened last night. An environmental group says problems with fly-tipping, graffiti and litter in Scotland are the worst they've been in 10 years. The Economy Secretary says he will reassure investors in the US and Canada that Scotland is open for business in the wake of Brexit. Keith Brown is set to carry out a series of engagements with the business communities in Ottawa, Toronto, New Jersey and New York next week. He'll be focusing on the tourism and food and drink sectors. A dog being swept out to sea has been rescued after it was spotted by a Coast Guard helicopter which was on a training exercise. Well, it's looking like an unsettled start to the working week weather-wise. Cosser is here with the details. <laughs> 